If we look at this little piece of the number line, which goes from 2 all the way up to 3, what we've done is we've divided this gap between 2 and 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces. So we have taken a step of 1 and we have divided it up into 10 pieces. And so each of these little pieces is 1 tenth long. In other words, they're 0, 1 long. So that means that if we go from 2 up to the next little one, we've gone 0, 1 along, so it's 2, 1. And if we go another step along, that's another, 1, so it's 2, 2. And this will be another, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9. And so we can easily then see what, if we're asked on this number line here, where would we put 2, 6? Well, you can see it's just going to be over there. Nice and easy. OK, imagine they asked you now to say, what is the value of the number that sits at that red dot? Well, we can figure it out quite easily by just thinking and noticing what happens in this gap between 2 and 3, right? We've seen that we've divided it up into 10 pieces, so each of the little pieces is 1 tenth, it's 0, 1. So really what we're asking is what happens when we go 1 tenth or 0, 1 back from 2. Well, have a look at the pattern here between 2 and 3. We count up and when we get to 2, 8, we then go to 2, 9. And after 2, 9, we get to 3. We don't get to 2, 10. We get to 3. Why is that? Well, 2, 9 is 2 and 9 tenths. If we put one extra tenth on, we will have 10 tenths, which is a whole. So we will have another whole, so we'll go up to Three. So it's important to note that after 2, 9, you get 3. It's a bit like after 29, you don't get 20, 10, you get 30. And in a similar way, after 2, 9, you get 3, which is just the same as 3, 0. So when you add one more tenth onto this, it actually pushes up the whole to a 3. So with that long explanation, hopefully you can think immediately, what's the number that's just 1 tenth before 2? Two? 2 is just 2, comma 0. What's going to come just before that? It's going to be 1, comma 9. Now we can continue dividing up the number line into finer and finer little divisions. Let's have a look at this case where we've taken between 2 and 3 and we've divided it up into 100 of these tiny little segments. What will each of these tiny little segments be? Well, we've taken 1 and we've divided it up into 100 pieces. So each of those tiny little segments will be 0, 0, 1 big. So if we start here at 2 and we go one little segment along, this first segment is going to be 2, 0, 1. The next segment is going to be 2, 0, 2. And I'm not going to try and write them all in because we're going to run out of space, but hopefully you can see easily that this will be 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, 4, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 6, 2, 0, 7, 2, 0, 8. Let me write this next one in. This last one here is going to be 2, 9. Now remember, what comes after 2, 9? Well, it's going to be 2, 9. 10. Oh. And then you're going to, which is 2, 1 or 2, 1 0, oh, you can write it either way. And after that, another one along, this one will be 2, 1 1. And you'll go on like that all the way through. So 
Let's give you a question to answer and see if you've got the idea. If I put a dot over here, what is the value of that number I'm pointing to with the dot? Pause the video now and write the answer in your homework book. Okay, so did you see that you started at 2 comma 4, right? And remember, you can always write that as 2 comma 4 0. And you've stepped one little hundredth on. So the next one will be 2 comma 4 1. And then another one will be 2 comma 4 2, right? Okay, what about this one over here? What will this write over here? The, very last one of those little ones before you get to three. Pause the video now and write your answer in your homework book. Did you see that what you were doing here was you were busy counting up again from 2 comma 9 0, 2 comma 9 1, 2 comma, let's just do it here, from 2 comma 9 0, 2 comma 9 1, 2 comma 9 2, 2 comma 9 3, 2 comma 9 4, 9 5, 9 6, 9 7, 9 8, Nine, nine. So this is going to be 2, comma, 9, 9. Now we could go further and divide the space between 2 and 3 up into a thousand little pieces and then you'd be dealing with thousandths. Um, or you could even divide it up into 10,000 little pieces and then you'll be dealing with 10 thousandths. It's going to be too hard for us to draw that, but you can see we can carry on dividing it up finer and finer and putting all our decimal numbers onto the number line. Okay, let's just check we really have the idea very solidly in our head and think about where would 2,73 sit on this number line. Well, we can figure this out by saying, look, we've got to go seven tenths along and the number line has been very nicely divided up for us into tenths. So we can just count that. This will be one tenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths, right? So I know that I need to be over here for seven tenths. But They've also told me that in addition to the seven tenths I've moved, I've got to move three extra little hundredths along. So to move three extra little hundredths along, I will have been here at the seven tenths and I'm going to move three little hundredths along. Well, I've got to imagine cutting up this piece here into ten little pieces because that's what will give me the hundredth size pieces. And I will go one, two, three of them along. And so my 2 comma 7, 3 will be roughly over here. If I wanted to do it exactly, I'd have to get my ruler out and measure and actually cut this thing properly up into 10 exactly the same little pieces and count three of them. But this gives me a good enough picture of where 2 comma 7, 3 lies.